Number two, cos theta plus tan theta sine theta equals secant theta. I find there's a little bit more to work with on the left-hand side, so I'm going to do that. On the right-hand side, I'm probably going to keep in the back of my mind secant theta is 1 over cos. So when I'm getting to 1 over cos, I know I'm almost at my answer. So tan theta can be written as a fraction of sine theta over cos theta. So I'm, all I did was replace that, kept everything else the same. Next step. Nothing cancels, but we can multiply these together. So we've got cos theta still here. Sine theta times sine theta is sine squared theta over cos theta. Now, follow what the question is kind of telling us to do. It says to add. So we're going to add this. To add, I want a common denominator. So I like to visualize that denominator. So I have a 1 and a cos theta. So my common denominator is cos theta. Now I want to... Um, when I'm adding, I need a common denominator here. So cos theta, I'd have to multiply cos theta by that. So I get cos squared theta. Plus, I already had cos theta in the denominator, so we just have sine squared theta here when we're adding. Again, that should be familiar to us. Cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is 1 over cos theta, which is secant theta, which will give us our right-hand side.